What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Agent Shu, and this is episode 15 of my Long Dark series. We are playing on Stalker. Happy New Year to everybody across the world, and hopefully you're recovering well from your New Year's Eve shenanigans. In the last episode, we made our way up to the Lookout Tower, just kind of as a last destination before we moved on. I didn't record what happened afterwards. Uh, nothing eventful, anyway. I ran all the way back down to our main base at the garage, sharpened everything, cleaned everything, repaired everything. I even made up some 100% torches. Packed up everything I thought we were going to need and made my way back up to our nice little secluded cabin in the woods. Now we're going to gear up and we are headed to Mystery Lake. So we got to get up that way. We're going to be heavy and moving slow, but let's grab all of this stuff that I, I left all of the guts and hide and stuff curing here on the floor. So we want a uh, black bear hide, another black bear hide. I'm not sure whether I'm going to take that deer hide. We may grab it. I'm not 100% sure yet because I'm sure we're going to get more. We're going to take these birch saplings. Let's see what our weight is. We're at 36. We're pretty good there. We got to take the rifle. And let's see. What do we got? We got, oh, we don't need the stump remover. Those are extra flares. Just got to remember everything is here. Uh, we will take, though. And eh, that's 42%. Okay, we're going to eat this maple syrup. I probably should have just filled up on deer food and stuff. but Or deer meat, but that's fine. Uh, is that cured? No. Let's move this over here, because I do, there's rabbit pelts here as well. Yep, I definitely want to take those, because I can repair up uh, my rabbit stuff. Uh, yep, let's see, 79%, and our rabbit hat is 98%. So we want that just for repairs. But let's see real quick, we're going to drop one of those. Uh, what else do we want to get rid of, just to lighten up a touch? I think these guts are cured right yep so we can use those for crafting i don't want to take anything that's going to make us stink real bad um let's go what do we got what do we got yep we did grab the hacksaw the hatchet all that stuff that we're going to want to carry along with us the gun we brought the rifle so we're looking we're looking pretty good let's see just how heavy we are with this rifle though uh as long as we don't get real tired we may have to nap periodically because we're going to be super sleepy. Or, sorry, we're going to be super heavy. But that's okay. It's not too long of a trek over to Mystery Lake. We'll be heading through Ravine. We're going to take a cooked bear meat and a cooked venison. Oh, my God, we're moving so slow. No, 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 that ain't going to work. So let's drop that. And what can we lose? Did I take the deer hide? Craftables. Let's see. We got that. We got the rabbit hide, cured leather, sticks, fire making material. I don't got anything crazy heavy there. That rifle just put us right over the top. It's got to be something else we can drop. You know what? I think we're going to drop the crowbar. We'll drop that in here. That'll lighten us up. If I can get under 40 kilos. And you know what I actually I could do before we leave? I could cook up a bunch of coffee. And uh, I'm going to bring the stone just in case I want to brain it. No, you know what? I'm going to shoot a rabbit with a bow if I do that. Brought a sewing kit. I'm hoping we find more sewing kits over there. I did bring the gun cleaning kits. Food. What's heavy? Anything heavy? We're going to drink that. We can lose that weight. And, yeah, we'll take, these are just herbal teas. Now, let's drop those. What do we got for, we got any extra clothes that we can get rid of? So we're down to 40. We're doing better. Uh, we can drop two. No, we're going to drop two. Oh, crap. <laughs> I meant to only drop two. Uh, we'll pick up two of those because so we can craft those on the way and it's nice nice to have a little stash of stuff here that we can come back to we don't need these tinder plugs i keep getting those every time i uh cut down trees and stuff like that 
Uh, we're a little bit better on the weight. Can we drink this too? Yep, we'll drink that. Just get rid of it. Kind of a waste, but I'll yeah, we'll just drop it. And yeah, that rifle's just crazy heavy. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I can drop this 34% torch though. Okay, we'll drop that. That brought us under 40. The big one that I desperately want to bring are these bear hides. Uh, we're not moving too terrible. How heavy is this? Nope, we're bringing it. Because my boots did take a little bit of a beating a few episodes ago, and I haven't fixed them yet. So we're going to take that deer hide. Okay, there we go. Let's get moving. So we're basically just heading onwards and upwards. So we can go through Ravine. I don't know if I'm going to do much looting over in Ravine, just because, well, well, I'm sure there's some stuff there. Luckily, there's no predators, so if, let's say we get a little bit sleepy and we want to kill some time, we can absolutely do that. And, but there's, I believe, if you go down the rope, you make your way over to, oh, what is that? Bleak Inlet. And while that, we will go there eventually, that's not a place I want to go right now. Only because, well, you know, mm, do I? No. I want to check out, well, I'm going to do all of Mystery Lake first. I'll check all that out. I'm not sure whether we're going to go to Forlorn Muskeg from there or Mountain Town. I've never, I visited Mountain Town a little bit during my gameplay. I've never visited Forlorn Muskeg. So, and I know there's a forge there. So, if and when we need to craft up some more arrowheads, we'll definitely want to get over there. All right, here's the creek. Follow this guy up and around. I don't know whether the bears respawn yet. I'm hoping not. I want to get out of this region without any predatory events. All right, let's go, Astrid. You can do it. Burn an energy fast, though. So I think once we get up to the bridge, we go up and around, and we'll be making our way there. Yeah, because that's the cabin. And I think there might... I know there's a way down. I don't know if you can get back up, though. Just right next to the cabin, anyway. And also, while I was making my way here, totally my fault... I walked right by the Aurora Cave. Um, for newer players, if you don't know that it's there, I didn't know it was there. There is a cave that really doesn't have much in it unless you are playing during an Aurora. If you're playing during an Aurora, then there's an elevator that turns on and you can take it down to the bowels. Um, never done it myself, I've seen videos of guys doing it. It looks crazy dangerous, and we can't make that climb, so I guess we're going around. Looks crazy dangerous. There's live wires and sparks flying everywhere, and uh, if the Aurora ends, you're stuck there. So you got to make sure to bring enough food and gear in order to um, survive long enough for an Aurora to come back, and you can make your way out. I, Like I said, I haven't done it. I'm sure I will someday just as kind of a, a challenge type of thing but yeah there's sparks and live wires and, and death pretty much at every corner while you're if you're in there during an aurora so uh that i think would be a lot of fun to check out i just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet all right there's a road that'll lead us up and around it stinks that we couldn't just make the make the climb up there and maybe if i did go up by the cabin i could have just kind of climbed up but we'll go the long way. It's fine. I'm pretty sure this is a switchback up here that takes us back. Yep, I see it. Takes us back up and around. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're going to get there. And then what I might do is once we get into Ravine, I will start a fire, make a bunch of coffees. All right, doggy. Oh, you're coming fast. 
Do not impede my exit of this region, sir. Nope. Ah, ah, you get back. Back up. Get. But yeah, so I am really curious. Uh, you know, I've picked up 100% torches just off the ground. And uh, I may do it like this from now on, where if I'm in an area that has fishing huts, I'll just do a little bit of fishing because it takes uh, 0 0.10 lantern fuel to craft the torches. And if they just last forever, then that's fine by me. I just get so sick of throwing torches all the time. Which I'm assuming a lot of people do. Come on. Go downhill. That way, that way. You go that way. Eh, or that way. Ooh, I thought he was going to nibble on my kneecaps. Alright, I hear the waterfall. And I do believe... Hopefully we're not uh, going the wrong way. But I believe we just got to keep going uphill. Yep, here's the railroad tracks. Perfect. We were closer than I thought we were, actually. And when we were up here before, I didn't check out what was this way. So let's go take a peek. I think there might just be a case or a, like a metal case or a backpack, something like that. Astrid's yawning already. Got to get this girl some sleep. And, oh no, there's a trailer right there that we didn't look at, so we can check that out. Maybe we'll uh, nap for an hour. Uh, no, you know what, we're going to start a fire, and we'll cook that coffee. I don't want to waste the sunlight. I want to keep moving and get to where we're going to go. I think we're going straight to... I think we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to go to Trappers first. We are going to go to the camp office. It's got a little bit more space in it. It's a little bit better set up. It doesn't have... I'll take the energy drink. It doesn't have as good of animal spawns, though. So there's the hunting grounds that's over relatively close to trappers, where there's a bear that hangs out there. There's deer. You can get a moose. All that kind of stuff. So let's see if there's anything I can break down here for some wood. I got some sticks, but I do want to make, like four or five cups of coffee all right what do we got in here uh matches i'll take them i left a lot of matches behind i had a ton dog food no we're gonna leave that uh flare cartridge yep i'll take that uh, we're gonna break that down that should be enough to get us a little bit of fire anyway but yeah i left a lot of stuff behind so what i might end up doing is going back for some stuff off camera just crafting things and junk like that i don't necessarily need them now like i left i sharpened everything and left the whetstones behind and just because being on stalker it seems like there's no shortage of that stuff and i could be wrong the game could say oh hey you're out all your stuff's your stuff's breaking you shouldn't have left that behind but uh for now that's just how i'm gonna how i'm gonna leave it and i did grab it's a 24 pack of matches plus obviously just picked up some more so i think we're good there for a while oh you got no light yep there we go and you know i keep forgetting to use the magnifying lens i have it i just i am so used to not using it that on a day like today i should have used it save a little bit of the um fire strike striker there Okay. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Right, let's put this torch out. Get this coffee and get her energy back up. Cook that coffee. Use that. We want lots of coffee. Cook. I don't know how much water I have. I think I have more than enough to do this. Okay, we're gonna drink that right away. Now, I don't know. Well, let's see if this allows it. Oh, not thirsty. Okay. That's fine. We'll just cook some more coffee, and we'll just keep on sipping every time she's thirsty. No critters, no wildlife. I mean, I guess we could take that energy drink. Okay. We're going to carry these, carry that. And let's get moving. 
At least that fatigue isn't being reduced as fast. Yeah, if I have to, I could take that energy drink. And we may have to sleep. It's about midday now. So we got plenty of time to keep trucking. It just depends on how painfully slow I want to get. I prefer to have my energy up so it's just cook right along. Now, when we get into Mystery Lake, we're probably just going to pass right by the trailers, right by the dam. I'm not going to loot it yet because we're so heavy. I want to get everything to uh, the cabin there. And we're going to kind of branch out from there, make our way out. We'll definitely head up to Trappers at one point uh, just because, well, wildlife is far more plentiful there. And there's some good loot up there. Plus the... Uh, yeah, the cave that goes over to Mountain Town is there. So you got the railway tunnel that heads to Forlorn Muskeg and the cave that goes over to Mountain Town. So we want to go that way. Let's can we drink this coffee? Drink it. Give me more energy. I need all the energy. Okay. It's coming up. Now, as far as Mountain Town goes, I don't know all what's in that area. I visited Milton, gone through all the houses there, the church that's over there. But outside of that, well, no, because there's a gas station down the hill, and then there's a park with a rope climb that goes down to somewhere that I don't know where that goes. So there's a lot to explore over there that I just haven't seen yet. So I'm looking forward to it. And I left the hammer here. We're not going to pick that up yet. I'm going to come back for it. Probably when... Yeah, maybe when I go loot the dam, I'll pick that guy up. Nice, peaceful ravine. No critters, plenty of bunnies, plenty of deer. If there was a... I don't know, is there a, a standing structure in this region? Oh, this bridge. This bridge scares me every time. The Long Dark Hinterland... If you want to make this game in VR, like, this would be phenomenal in VR. The animal attacks, the hunting, doing insane stuff like crossing this bridge. Ugh. I would have, uh, so, a buddy of mine got a, a VR headset years ago. And I say years ago, it was probably only two years, eh, a year or two ago. And there were just a couple demo types of things. And there was this... Uh, catwalk or tightrope that's what it was you had to step off of a platform onto a tightrope and even though I was in this wide open pole barn concrete floor ground firmly underneath my feet I couldn't force myself to step out on that it, it was so unnerving so doing something like this crossing this bridge in VR and going over those uh, the busted up tracks there just to make it across that little section I think it would be phenomenal. And even like that view in, in VR would be great. Let's get working on it, Hinterland. Your game is VR ready. Let's go. You know, you're crouching in your living room, creeping up on a deer, ready to stick them with a bow. Oh, yeah. I'd be all over it. I assume, though, like... What I have is just an Oculus Quest. They don't have a ton of memory, and what I've noticed is many VR games are kind of short in the sense of they would take up so much room on your little cell phone processor and a uh, little hard drive that's in those things. So I'm sure bringing a full game like this to VR would be difficult, to say the least. But I think I would enjoy it a lot. Yeah, through here. So I think there's there's the two caves. I don't know what you call them. But there's two caves out here. And there's rabbits and bunnies. And the one cave, last time I came through here, the climbing rope was in, I believe, the first one. I'll check it out, see if it's there. Like I said, I'm not going to pick anything up that I can't consume right away. And I would prefer if when we get there, I could find a deer close by just so I can have the meat close to our little home base. Rather than going all the way back to that cab and loading up on deer meat and making the trek again. I mean, if I have to, I have to, but I would prefer not to.
Uh, last coffee. More energy, Astrid. We gotta keep this girl moving. You're moving a little slow. I don't like it. But yeah, if there was a nice little cabin on one of these overlooks, you know, with just a porch. Looking, looking over that right there. Oh, that'd be pretty. Ugh. Don't like heights. Never liked heights. I, I only have a little ranch house. And I swear, I get up on the roof to do anything and I'm all nervous and twitchy. It's weird. I enjoy skydiving, but I'm terrified of heights. That makes no sense. But it is what it is. Uh, I hear the crows out there. What do we got, a deer carcass? It's probably down there where the, uh, the rail cars flipped over. I think there's usually a corpse there. It's kind of nice to be in a region where you're not having to look over your shoulder. Is there a bear? Is there a wolf? Just deep breath and enjoy the surroundings. Alright, let's get a move on, Astrid. Come on, girl. What time is it? Alright, we're getting late. I can't... I don't know. I don't have the energy to... Or, sorry. I'm not fatigued enough to sleep for a long period of time. Alright, so we got a backpack in here. Is there the rope? What's here? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take it. Don't need the food, but I'll eat it right now. Let's pull the lantern out and see if there's anything else in here. Anything hidden on the floor, hidden in the corners? Or did I walk right by it? Oh, there's some wood there. A can of peaches, another bag of nuts. Okay. No rope, that's fine. Let's eat. We're gonna eat that. Just get that weight out of our inventory. Oh, that bunny off in the distance just startled me. Eat this guy. Fill us up. Turn this off. Let's keep moving. And there's another cave on the on the back side. When you there's a tree crossing up here. There's another cave over there. We'll we'll pop our heads in there and see what uh, see what we can find. From what I understand, and I don't know because, like I said, I haven't really explored it at all, but from what I understand, Bleak Inlet is one of the least liked regions by most in the game. So I don't know if it's just incredibly difficult. I mean, maybe somebody wants to give me a teaser as to what makes Bleak Inlet so terrible. Oh, there's no rope hanging off of the rope anchor. y'all some scrap metal and fire log we're not gonna carry that I think the fire logs give you two or three hours worth of worth of fuel though yeah we gotta go right here yeah so there's a couple of them like I have spawned in Black Rock mountain there and it has not gone well for me every time so I assume I don't know, but I assume that's an incredibly difficult region. But well, when you're first starting off, every region's incredibly difficult. Outside of maybe if you spawn in Milton, just because there's a place to escape to at every turn. But everywhere else, I would assume it's... it's come on, get up there. There you go, girl. You got it. Uh, what do you got on you, sir? Anything good? Uh, just a worn t-shirt. No, we don't want it. But yeah, like the first time I spawned in Desolation Point, I thought that was pretty difficult. Uh, just not knowing it, that's all. I mean, once I got used to it, it wasn't bad. But not having a lot of houses or places. Oh, I'll take the arrow. One of my fellow survivors was here recently. Forgot to pick up his arrow. Tisk tisk. You need those arrows, man. Pick them up.
but yeah desolation point i liked it it just uh and some people absolutely love it there's just not a lot of uh quick places to run to not a lot of houses and cabins and stuff like that but i really do like coastal highway i think it's a very pretty region and where we're headed now so far i'll say it's my favorite so far keep in mind my experience is limited but I do really enjoy Mystery Lake. Come on. All right. Let's go for a jog, honey. You can do it. Keep going. Uh, what do we got there? Another carcass? So many carcasses, and I can't harvest anything. I mean, I can, but there's really not much point. I gotta get moving. So far, I haven't seen any live deer, though. All sorts of dead deer. Am I going the wrong way? No, we're still we're still trucking. Yeah, we'd have been gassed out already if I didn't drink that coffee. Nope, I say that, and there goes a, a couple of them right there. Okay, there's the bridge. And I believe that will lead us out of here. Question is, which way? Now, oh, let's go here. Let's go this way. It's okay, Bambi. I'm not here to hurt you. No worries. Now we'll go this way. Because I think that leads in, and we want out. Follow the deer. Or follow the food, I should say. You will be food. Should I name you Venison Burger? Nah. You're fine won't hurt you. It's okay. Relax. Relax. Oh, hi. You gonna come with me? Let's go. Come on. Come on. We're gonna teach you how to survive in the long dark. It's okay. Alright. Didn't want to come with us. That deer's probably doing better than me in the game anyway. Actually has the speed to run from the wolves and the bear. Perfect. We are now in Mystery Lake. So I think what we're going to do, I'll sneak into this cabin. We'll sleep for a couple hours. And then we'll just keep on moving. All we got to do is head straight down the train tracks, follow the power lines, and we're there. I don't believe we should encounter a bear, but it is most likely that we're going to run into some wolves on the way. Let's see. Let's get this girl some energy. Man, I could, I could pop an energy drink. Um, let's fill up on water. We'll sleep for two just to keep our keep on moving. And I know this is going to screw us up as far as our night cycle, but whichever. Once we unload, then we got plenty of work we can do at the cabin and nearby. Oh, yeah, we got time. Plenty of time. We'll get there. Yeah, the first time I went through the the dam, I ended up going out a door, and I didn't realize you could make your way and kind of there's like like a billy goat path around the dam itself, so you can make your way back up. You know what? Is this a mistake? No. I think you crash pretty hard after you take the energy drink. So I'm like, ah, should I take it and then just hoof it all the way there? But if I crash, I'm going to be, like, dragging at much, much slower than I am now. So I'll just suffer with the gear. But yeah, this region, I really like this region. It's got a beautiful view from the lookout tower. We're definitely going to go up there. 
It's got a a signal tower. I'll I'll call it a, a busted up radio tower. Uh, railroad cars to check out. Not the not much in the way of cabins on this side of the map that I found. Maybe there are some that I haven't found. But there's some trailers to check out. There's a lot of log fall areas where there's been some clear cutting. Obviously a lake. There's cabins around the lake. Fishing huts. And uh, Trapper's Cabin. Which I really like. It's a bit small for my liking. But that's okay. It's got a two burner stove in it. And a crafting bench. So what more do you need? Usually when I come through here, it's either nice and quiet, no wolves, or more wolves than you can count. And the stupid things just won't leave you alone. Alright, what's up in here? We'll take pop our heads in here, get, get a little some sort of content out of this trek. Uh, oh, yes, we will take that. And a hunting knife. Uh, we're coming back for you, though. We're going to move you right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we got some more reading to do because I was out of books and there were several opportunities to do some reading and I just didn't have anything to read. Oh, trucking along. I think there's another, there's like a derailment up here as well. But yeah, so like there's a lookout just across from the cabin that you can make your way up to that is just an overlook. There's really nothing there. There's no tower or anything like that. You just kind of climb up there. There's a cave, and you can look out over the lake. Romantic romantic place to, to take the ladies you know, just before sundown. <laughs> yeah, there's the derailment there. Come on, Astrid. Keep pushing, girl. We're almost there. And so there's a dead deer. Maybe we'll find an arrow hanging out of that one, too. I did craft as many arrows as I could before I left. So I think we got seven or eight crafted arrows on us, plus we just picked one up. So we're good there. But I tried to prep as, as well as I could. And, I mean, maybe I should have recorded it. You can feel free to yell at me in the comments if uh, skipping things like that as far as recording them is a no-no. And you'd prefer to see me do that Ooh. stuff. Any arrows hanging out of you? Or did you die of natural causes? Did you get hit by the train? Oh, that's what I did. do. i got to keep picking up these arrows. Or not the arrows, the feathers. Silly me, I need all of the feathers. Uh, okay, take some matches. And I think once before, did I find a... I can't remember, I, I found a rifle somewhere. And I find, found, like, it's two of... You know, we're going to take you. We're going to put you up in here. We just got to remember that there's stuff in these here railroad cars. Got a box of ammo there, though. Can we pick you up from here? Eh, eh, nope. We will take the ammo, though. We're so close to where we want to go. What you got on you, sir? You had ammo, no gun. Would you, did the wolf take it from you? Am I stuck? What? Oh, oh, whew. I was like, no! I'm stuck! Alright, not much further. Just around that big old uh, outcropping there of boulders, rocks, whatever. Actually surprised. No wolves so far. Wolves don't like the fog, I guess. They're afraid of uh, dawn or dusk. Dusk, dawn. They're afraid of the evening. Oh, I know. You're huffing, breathing hard. That wouldn't that be nice? We round this corner. There's a nice buck sitting right there for us, just saying. You can take me. Have my meats. Set up a, set us up nice on day one. Now, I know what I've done in the past 
when it was super wolfy and I had to truck a, a bunch of meat from down where North River is. You find, uh, basically you go North River to South River and then that loops, uh, hits the lake and loops back around here. And you just encounter less wolves if it's really, if there's a lot of wolf tra traffic up here. But there's a bear spawn down there. So if you're super heavy and you can't run, you got to pick your poison. If you can't run, at least you can scare off the wolves. And there is camp office. Our home away from home, or at least our home for the meantime. Oh, you're moving so slow, Astrid. I mean, you're not carrying 41 kilos, are you? What is that, 80 pounds in uh, standard? I always think this is something. It's just a busted up light. I'm like, oh, a moose satchel. <laughs> and sadly, it's not. Is there anything behind here? Looks like we got a... F uh, nothing. Kind of looked like a fire log sitting there. I was like, okay, I'll take that. Oh, there is something here, though. What do we got? What do we got? Charcoal! No, oh, thank you. All right, let's lighten this girl's load, and we'll get her to bed here in a second after we drop all this stuff. Let's pull out the lantern. It's going to be dark inside, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's dark. All right, so our crafting area is right over here. Drop these bear hide, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you need what two for the bear hide coat, right? Uh, bear skin coat. Oh, you only need one. Okay, I guess I didn't need to carry two. What about the bear skin bedroll? Okay, we needed two for that. I was, I got them backwards. That's fine. Well, we got two. I could have uh, lightened up my load by a kilo, but. Whatever. Okay. And then we got bear hit bear skin there. We're gonna put the deer skin here. We'll put the rabbits right here. And then we are gonna have to get some more guts. Because we didn't carry all those guts. And with all those uh, carcasses laying around, we might be able to just go harvest the guts off of those drop these guys and then there are we do have three cured maple saplings and that's why i brought those guts because i wanted to make a new bow this one's down to like 40 percent i believe or 30 something percent okay we're lightening up oh now we can take our what do we got uh, fishing line and what's in the drawer more matches i'll take it and a hook so we can hook or, geez, we can hook that. We can craft that into another tackle set. Which we already clearly have a few, so... Looks like there's a fishing marathon on the horizon. Uh, we'll take the 85% knife. We'll drop that. We'll drop this guy. We'll refuel our lantern here in a second. Mm -mm -mm. What else we need? What else we want to drop? We'll bring the sticks near the fireplace. Uh... We gotta do a water marathon soon. Bring the stems. I always leave my spare matches in the crafting bench. So let's do that. We'll leave. I'm gonna put these guys there. Transfer. Transfer. And that brings us down. Now we're uh, we're slightly underweight, and we're carrying the rifle. And I'll probably be opportunistic with the rifle. Unless we're moving up to, like, trappers or something like that, then I'll bring the rifle with me. Just because of the potential for a bear. But after taking that last bear with a bow, I really enjoyed it. So the rifle might not get as much use as I once thought. Okay, we're underweight. You know what? We're going to... What time is it? What time is it? Oh, yeah. We're going to go upstairs, put this girl to bed, and then... We'll loot this place up, see what we can find. But first, I lied. I lied. Sorry. We're going to take our rifle and rifle ammo. And 
put it on the table or on the uh, countertop. Okay, there's that. And that brought us down to 30 kilos. Rifle ammo dropping that as well. Oh, I got to put all these uh, empty cartridges in the crafting bench as well, just for safekeeping. Oh, it'd be nice if you could like drag these guys outside. I'm going to be spending a little time here, and it's kind of weird having you just chilling in the corner. Yeah. And then, yeah, so we can sneak back up there, grab those guts, and yeah, we'll grab the guts, the hide, the meat, run it all back here. All right, I said I was going to go to bed. This girl's tired. We're putting her to bed. All right, let's go for 12. And we'll start looting. Actually, yeah, because we want that pry bar. And I don't know how much we'll definitely need the pry bar if we're going through the dam. So there's probably going to be a bunch of lockers in there. Let's fill up this guy. Use, yeah, because we put that, we put the jerry can there. We'll fill it up with the little uh, lantern fuel canister that we're carrying. Light her up. Let's get looting. What kind of goodies does camp office hold for us? Drink. Nothing. I'll take potato chips. The old ketchup chips. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. We'll make a clothing pile right here. Just for cloth. Oh, fire starting. This is going to be our bookshelf. Let's drop this other book. Should always carry one with me because I you find yourself in situations where you you can't travel, you can't go outside. We got a bedroll. Uh, can we stuff it right there? You gonna you gonna let us? Now we'll put it right. Oh no! Uh, right there. There we go. I don't know that we'll need it, but it's good to have. And I do really want to make the bear bedroll. I have not made that yet in the game. And honestly, I haven't found a need for more warmth while sleeping. But I'm sure when I get into areas, let's say Timberwolf Mountain or something to that effect, uh, having that really warm bedroll means I could make a uh, snow shelter and actually survive in it. I'll let you guys read that if you like. Okay. Oh, what's downstairs? Yeah, Poor guy. Passed out in the corner. Never woke up. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, what's that? Nothing. Just a knocked over picture, it looks like. Uh, bu, 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 bu. What is hiding down here? Anything? More cans? Cans everywhere. I didn't take stock of our can collection before we left either. I should have seen just how many were there. I know we didn't quite fill up the whole box before we left, but that's okay. Aha, see, not bringing the whetstones wasn't, uh, wasn't such a bad idea. Saving weight on that. Well, it sounds like we might be reading. The wind just picked up. Oh, another jerry can. We'll take that. I didn't take a... I should have looked at how much fuel was in it. And I was tempted to leave that jerry can behind instead of bringing it with us. Just so we kind of had one. Oh, look at that. Second cooking pot. Love it. So now we got two. Alright, so we are ready. Is there anything behind the chair? I don't see anything. Yeah, two cooking pot, that, that's great. So we can do four liters of water in one cooking session, or one water session. And I may do that sooner or later, where I just have a great big water boiling sesh, and, oh, you gonna pick those up? Just a great big water boiling session, and I'll just load one of these countertops up with bottles of water. Did I miss anything up here? No. I guess I can put this lantern out. Oh, no, we don't want to put that there. Uh, we'll put it there. Did 
Did I look in there? Yeah, I looked in there. Okay. Let's take a peek outside and see just how nasty it is. I suppose I could uh, give this girl some water. I have no water. Yep, well, we might be cooking some water here in a second anyway. Let's take a peek. I could put this lantern out, though. There's no sense in burning this thing. It's plenty bright enough in here now. Oh, yeah. I guess we made it here just in time. If I had waited another day or tried to push, I might have been in trouble. Timing. Timing, timing, timing. All right, so while we're doing that, let's break down some of this stuff for wood. And we'll start a fire up in the dual burner. That's not going to give us wood, but that will. Get that dual burner stove going, and we'll boil up some water and read while we're at it. Can I break down this wheel? I, need to I sure it. can. Oh, got a feeder. What is... Yeah, we'll do the venison. Venison, venison, venison. Drink a soda. Give her a little bit of water. We'll get some more. We'll get and break down this other wheel. Well, it sounds like the, st the storm stopped, but we need water anyway. So we'll get uh, two, four liters boiled up, and what is that? Two hours worth of reading, I think. And pick you up. I figured I got you off there already. Uh, let's get this fire going. No matches. How much use is left in this? I really ought to be paying attention to the condition of it. Start the fire. Oh, with the, and I'll, I'll check here in just a second. But with the, all of that bear meat that I cooked back at the little cabin, pretty sure that affected our cooking skill quite a bit. I know we haven't been overly successful on the hunt. So we haven't had the ability to cook up truckloads of meat, but I want to say we're around cooking three-ish. I'll double check in just a second, though. Come on, little fire. Come on. You can do it, little fire. I promise. But yeah, cooking three. We now have fire starting three. I believe we're at harvesting three as well. And we will up our cooking skill with that. Put this guy out. And let's get boiling. That's 54 minutes. Cook, right? That's 54 minutes till melted, and then another hour to cook. Or to boil. So that'll be perfect. It'll give us four liters. We got two hours. Let's add. Oh, we'll add just a couple sticks. I like to have a little extra. Just in case we want to do something else. And let's read for an hour. Get our fire starting skill going. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, he was desperate, Astrid. Desperation makes you do strange things, and we can't read because we're thirsty. Uh, okay. 23 minutes left. Perfect. So now we can actually drink some. And I'll probably take you know one one of those liters, put it in a bottle, and leave it on the counter. So we got one of five hours. That's fine. It stunk. We ran out of water right at the wrong second. We're gonna bring that uh, fire book with us though. But yeah. How many arrows? Oh, sorry. I'm all over the map. Squirrel brain. So we are on day 43, and we're doing pretty good. It was a rocky start, but we're getting there. We're almost to carcass harvesting four, almost to cooking four. Uh, a third of the way, quarter of the way through fire starting three. I'm actually surprised we're not doing better on mending. Um, because, well, I damaged my gears so bad so many times I've fixed them a lot. But yeah, we're doing good at the archery, though. <laughs> Only through level two. Got to kill more stuff with a bow. Let's drop one of these. One of these liters. So we'll go like that. And we'll drop it a little bit right there. Perfect. So that should... I think it just drops one liter at a time, right? Yep. So now we're 2.3 liters. And is there anything else that we don't want to bring? Oh, jeez. All oh, that reclaimed wood. 
Yeah, we don't want to be carrying all that. Let's drop it right here. Drop, drop, drop. Drop all of you. Perfect. Now we're 31. We're well underweight. And let's do some exploring. Or should we go back and harvest that carcass? We need the meat. So unless we can come across a critter to hunt relatively close by, we might make our way over. Get that carcass. Grab the... Not the flare, but the pry bar. And, you know, if we're there, we can grab the flare, too. I know oftentimes right across the way here, there's some deer that spawn. So we're going to check out that first before we head down to the rail car. Now, oh, wolf right there. Okay. You can just stay over there. I don't want to play. I'm on a mission for food, mister. And actually... Uh, should we go up to the tower? Well, mission food first. Let's see what's hanging out down in here. Revolver. Alright, here we go. Get this bow hunting skill going. If I do come across some rabbits, I'll tilt, still take the shot at the rabbits. Okay, there's two rabbits. Any deer? How about over here? Any deer, any deer? No? Okay. I do need the guts. No, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to shoot them. Well, actually, you know what? I do need the guts. Because if we want to set up some rabbit snares anywhere, we're going to need plenty of guts. But I would rather get them from a bigger carcass. Anything over here? What is this? It's just a weird looking rock. Nothing? Okay. We're not going to travel too far that way. How are we doing on food? Oh, uh, no, that's not food. That is water. Now we got a little bit. 76%, 45, 83. Okay. Let's eat the, we'll eat the sardines. And then maybe, you know, we're already here. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go up to the, uh, to the lookout. We're already on the hill. There's no sense in going down and around and coming back up. We'll see what's up there. Now, I know there's several different rifles in the game, all with different stats. Whether it be some are more accurate than others, some are lighter than others, some reload faster, maybe even some degrade faster. So I am curious as to where they are and how well they work. I don't know that... Well, can we make that? Oh, no. We can go this way. The trail's right here. Perfect. Uh, let's take a peek over the edge. See what... Uh, see what wildlife might be hanging out down there. Nothing. We got the deer carcass there. Now, we could just leave it there and farm it for feathers, which isn't a bad idea if we come across a better source of food relatively close to home. It's one thing, though. I just don't know how long the feathers take to respawn. I assume if there's crows flying, it all over, flying over it all the time, it would respawn pretty fast, but who knows? I'm sure if I were to look some of this stuff up, they probably have respawn timers, locations for everything in the game, you know, when, where, and how, how to have a tickle party with a bear so it doesn't maul you when you when it jumps on you, just all that, that weird kind of stuff that, uh, you know, most people don't know about. 
Alright, so we got some wildlife down there. Got a wolf there. Is that a wolf there? Looks like another one there. Okay, you guys can stay down there. If I have to resort, to resort to wolf meat, I will. But, oh yeah, there's another wolf there. Okay. I know that being just like bear meat and that you can only eat a little bit. You know, one or two a day, maybe, I think. Alright, what's up here? Let's see what kind of view we got. Yes, I do want to go up there as well. But I don't feel like getting too far away from home yet because we don't have any food. Need the food. Just trying to see if I'm going to miss anything like underneath this little bridge. No cattails? No. Nice little fishing pond here. Alright, what the Yep, let's go up top, see what we can see in there. And we might read for a little bit, and I think we might call this episode. We'll get a good view. We'll save the rest for the next time. Look at that. Yeah, I'd, I'd love for the sun to go down and an aurora to pop up. That would be pretty. Hopefully there's some food up here, because I'm kind of short on food. There's going to be something. We'll put that away. I don't need to be carrying the bow anymore. It's just a bunch of snow. It looked like there was something sitting on the railing. Alright, anything on the outside? Oh, got a little antenna. There must be a CB radio. Oh, we got us some peaches, another fire-making book. Could have a fire-making marathon. Got a log. Tons of these. I have found two boxes that were like a flare kit box with no flare gun in it. More rifle ammo. Okay. Got a rifle in here somewhere for me? I was just talking about finding a fancy rifle. We'll shut that. Finding one of the more fancy ones, because I got Barb's rifle right now, and that thing weighs a ton. Okay, I guess we don't have to go to the back to the railroad car for the pry bar. I'll leave that piece of wood. Nothing else to see. Oh, another hunting knife, another whetstone. Yeah, it's, I'm glad I left that stuff behind. There's just no shortage of whetstones, whetstones in soccer, apparently. Uh, we might be able to repair something as well. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call it. Oh. Come on. There we go. Try to give my little outro speech and the door opened up the wrong way. Yes, I am going to call it. If you like what you see and you like what I do, please leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. I enjoy making these videos for you, so feel free to leave a like down in the comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.